I'm Shay. Oh, Alana. Hannah. Kenneth. Um, we really hope you like the video. We really tried really hard. All this is made up off the top of our heads. It's improvised. That's why we call it improv, I guess. Um, we hope you enjoy. And I will solve the case. It's a classic whodunit. <laughs> Three, two, one. Improv. So. I, I, I really need to confess. I. No, I, this is don't confess. See, I am the best in the business. I don't need your confession. I will figure this out with just three witnesses to that heinous, heinous act that you have committed. And obviously do not feel guilty about it. Leave my presence. I will put you in custody. But uh, detective! Please, let me do my job. You're paying for it. Whatever. First witness. Where were you last night? My living room. Why? Because I live there. Do you live with the vic Do you live with the criminal? No, I live across the street. And what did you see outside your window? Well, I was peeking through to look in my garden. Mm -hmm. You know, like normal people do. Yes, in the middle of the night, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and there was these three things. Things. Well, I didn't have my glasses on. Mm. How would you describe these things? They were tall. And Dark. Tall and dark. Would you say they were tall, dark, handsome strangers? Couldn't get close enough. Mm. Were they? I'll go with yes. So they were human. Yes. Mm. Three tall strangers going in to the criminal's house or the victim? Victim. Victim's house. Three people. Interesting. Anything else that you could tell me? The neighbor's awful. What? The neighbor. She had it coming. She never locks her door. She never locks her door, but no. that's no reason to, for three people to go in and murder her. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you ever lock your door when you were such valuable things? What such of things? Well, I was over there for a dinner party once, and she had very nice, expensive china. Really? And silver platters. So she has fine cutlery platters, and three men knew that her door was unlocked and tried to steal. Exactly. Interesting. Is there anything else you could tell me about the night in question? I had some delicious popcorn with the movie playing in the background. What movie? Titanic. It was very emotional. Mm. And did you look out during the movie to pull yourself away from Leo DiCaprio's dying eyes to look outside on your lawn? Yes, I had to make sure my carrots were okay. Lies! No one can pull their eyes away from Leo DiCaprio as he dies on Titanic. He was already dead. Rose didn't know it! You have a valid point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sus suspect, I mean, uh, witness number two. <laughs> Detective? What were you doing last night? Ah, uh, I was stargazing. Stargazing? Yeah. Ha, I don't believe it. Where's your telescope? Well, it's a big thing. It's not quite transferable. Uh, you know, I don't carry it on me at all times. Why not? Uh, because I tend to use it at my house from my window and... I, so, you know... So you use it to spy on people? Ah! <laughs> well, that's part of, I mean, you know, you... With uh, great uh, power comes great responsibility that I've clearly... With abused. great power comes great peeping powers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I deserve that. And what did you see? Well, uh... Well, pertaining to the to the crime in question? Yes. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss other neighbors later. I saw, um... <laughs> well, I saw I saw a, a, a body um, in a kiddie pool. A body in the kiddie pool, front or backyard? Um, it was it was in the backyard. The backyard. And um, does the neighbor have kids? It was an adult body. It was an adult body. I know, but does the neighbor have kids for the kiddie pool? Um, yes. Yeah, sometimes there are kids that come into the backyard. Um, yeah. Are they her kids? Uh, it's tough to say. What do you mean it's tough to say? That's the answer to a question. Well, I just, well, the, I mean, there's kids back there. I can't, I mean, I'm not on friendly terms with the neighbor. Okay. Did she invite them over or did they climb the fence to get in? I just, all I saw was, well, the, the, well at this point, this was just a, ma a, a male body in the kiddie pool. A male body in the kiddie pool. Yeah, he was darkly dressed. Um, and, and at the same time, a uh, car was screeching off from the front. All right. Did you happen to see the make of the car? How many people were in it? I couldn't see the car because I was in my place and I was looking in the backyard. And 
Uh, but from the sound of it, it sounded like it could have been a Ford or maybe even a Honda or Nissan or a Chevy. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it, the tires, it had definitely had tires. <laughs> Ford, Honda, Chevy, or Nissan with tires. Yeah, it could have potentially been a Mazda uh, Scion. Yeah, <laughs> if they keep making those still. Um, not but sure. definitely not a Saturn. Um, I think I would have been able to tell. Good man. Good yeah. Man. All right. So, <laughs> large, ma- large male body. Um, Car yeah. screeching off. I'd say he was about six, four. Interesting. And face down in the kiddie pool or face up? Um, face down and then face up. But what, did he turn when he was dead? <laughs> uh, there was, he was revolving. <laughs> what, was there a spit lodged in him, slowly turning him like a rotisserie chicken? I couldn't tell what, uh, what was making him go through those cycles. Um, it seemed to be sort of just haphazard. Haphazard. So, mm-hmm. not in a completely uniform fashion, but he did continue to spin. Yes. Yeah. While dead. Yeah, I suppose I'm not. I wasn't sure if he was dead. I didn't. That's when I decided to um, call the police. Did you see any injury on him? Um. Yeah. He was bleeding. Where? Um. From his side and. From his side. Yeah. There was a. There was a spear. A spear. Mm-hmm. How do you know it was a spear? <laughs> well, it was long. It was a long pole. That was a long pole. Yeah, it so kind of looked like a, so could have just been a pole or a javelin or something. Something long and I mean a javelin. Javelin, javelin. Yeah, javelin. <laughs> God damn it, man! Get your back straight. Javelin, javelin. <laughs> ja- I don't know how that's pronounced. <laughs> javelin, javelin. Like they use in Justice League. Yes, or that, you know, uh, they throw in the Olympics. They do that as well. Yes. All right, so this man, face down, slowly revolving in a haphazard mazard, haphazard mannered, with a javelin stuck in his right side. Yes. Somehow rotating inside a kiddie pool where kids come and go, though are not of their victim, and there's a, while the car was screeching off into the night. Yes. Is there anything else you can tell me? Uh, no, I believe that's all. Are you sure? Yes. Is it javelin or javelin? I I say javelin. You're wrong, my friend. Leave. Okay. <laughs> Don't leave town. <laughs> <laughs> Witness number three. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. What were you doing last night? I was in my living room. Where? I was by the window because I heard some noise. So. By the window. And what is your proximity to the victim's house? Next door. Next door, to the left or right? Left. From the street or from your front door, exiting your house? <laughs> what? <laughs> if I'm on the street and I'm looking at a row of houses, are you to the left or to the right? If you're looking at it, it's to the left. To the left. To the left, to the left. Oh, it's to the left. Everything you own in the box, to the left. Yes. All right. Now, so you were looking out of your living room window. Yes. What time is it? I don't know. It was dark out. That's all I knew. Do you not keep watches? No. A cell phone? No. Are you I don't like time. It's oh. overrated. A very useful relative concept in this case. Ah, so why were you looking outside of your window? Like I said, I heard some noise. It was like a popping noise. A popping noise? Yes. Were, how many pops did you hear? A lot of them. <laughs> I don't know. Like what are we talking? 20, 30? Top, top 40, U.S. top 40 chart full of pops? Or yes. That's a lot of popping. It's a lot of popping. I heard a lot of popping. <laughs> and what else did you see or hear? Well, I saw three black figures go into the house. Three black figures or three dark figures? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were black. How do you know this? Because it was dark and you could barely see them. That's incredibly racist. <laughs> <laughs> they, could have just, they could have just been Caucasian people wearing blackface. There you go. <laughs> or wearing dark clothes. They all right, so dark. three shadowy figures left the house. They went in, and I also saw them leave. You saw and all three leave? Yeah. They had a big thing. What do you mean a big thing? A big thing. <laughs> when they left, they had a big thing. Are we talking big relative to me or relative to you? 
<laughs> a large thing. A large thing. Can you and describe? It was popping. And the thing was popping. Yes. Can you describe the shape of the thing? It was like rectangle and a circle and I don't know. I rectangle, really a tell. circle, a quadrangle, a <laughs> triangle. What are we in elementary school? Yes. Do we want a nap time? Yes. So do I. <laughs> so do I. All right. So a large, popping, rectangular circle thing being carried out by three men. Did they jump into a vehicle? Yeah. Did it screech off? Yeah. Was it a Saturn? I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see or hear anything else that could be of use? Uh, no, not that. How, how would you describe your neighbor? Oh. Is it a man or a woman? I don't know anymore. We <laughs> beat at the sex change. <laughs> <clears throat> And have you ever been into the interior of your neighbor's house? Mm. Never. Mm. How long have you lived there? A mm, couple months. A couple months. Why are you in town? Mm -hmm. Didn't like where I was living. That is a reasonably fair argument. <laughs> All right. So nothing else that you can tell me. Mm. <laughs> hmm. So three the figures go in, three come out with a large rectangular dark eye. You can leave now. <laughs> Bring in the suspect. Officer, I... And then the detective, my detective. bad. Detective. Sorry. I didn't earn this shield for nothing. I'm sorry. Damn right, you're going to be sorry. You and two of your accomplices <laughs> went into a house for the sole purpose of stealing an old mort motor from a Ford Model T for express purpose of selling it to a museum secondhand on the black market. However, when the owner woke up and realized they were stealing this very large mechanical implement, he decided to impale him with, a, with some sort of rod. And put a stick... Stick a water sprinkler inside of his rectum, so that way he turns casually into Kitty Boy. <laughs> Confess! <laughs> Look, Sisekbu, I'm gonna say this straight up. You suck. Um, it was a popcorn machine, and it was a dare. But how Nobody died, and I got and I fell in the kiddie pool. Do I look like a guy to you? I mean, seriously, you have to be the worst detective in the world. You're also not 6'2". <laughs> No, I'm five one and three precious quarters! And why were you ro rotating in the pool with a javelin in your side? Which I do not see a wound for! <laughs> because it's not true! He's probably psycho, the person that told you that! <laughs> so at no point were you in a kiddie pool. Yeah. I was! I tripped over the freaking kiddie pool, okay? It was a dare, and it was a stupid dare! How were you getting the popcorn machine to pop while we were moving it? I don't it was, it was just night. warm it and it was off. popping! That is impossible. It just happened! So you moving it got it excited enough to pop. pop. <laughs> no, it was making popcorn before and it was still heated up, so it's not our fault. So the owner it's was crazy awake. Crazy ladies. She's crazy. So the owner was awake and making popcorn. How did you not encounter her? We knocked her out, for God's sake! So. She's not dead! All right, cut. I had a follow-up. <laughs> Subscribe. The numbers match up. Subscribe. More, more videos. 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 Videos.